Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll explain how to upgrade CC3 Plus characters to HD characters through appearance and facial profile. With the increased polygon count, the new HD characters can carry much more facial detail compared to older ones. Dynamic expressions also benefit from the higher resolution, allowing for realistic surface contours. In addition, facial animation, especially mouth animations, simulate complex muscle movements, including sticky lips and elastic puckers. First, let's take a look at how to upgrade the character's appearance. Start by enabling wireframe, and you'll see that the CC3 Plus character has a low polygon count. This results in angular issues in facial details and outer contours. In CC5, we provide the subdivide function to increase the polygon count. Clicking subdivide will upgrade the mesh step-by-step -step to level 1 and level 2. Once completed, you can press the Alt plus 2 to quickly toggle wireframe and check the result. You'll notice a significant increase in polygons, and you can also drag the slider to switch levels. Next, you'll see that the CC5 Ultimate Morph offers a wide range of HD morphs, including HD body and HD head. For example, when adding a bit of forehead wrinkle, turning on wireframe shows that the increased polygons allow the surface to support realistic bumps and fine details. Switching back to lower level clearly reveals how the low polygon count of CC3 Plus cannot deliver authentic surface detail. With a higher polygon count combined with HD morphs, facial details can be enhanced quickly. For instance, dragging the full face elder slider instantly makes the character look older and more weathered. Of course, the increased polygon count also benefits the body, which can now support richer, muscular, and anatomical details. They help accentuate bone structure, muscle definition, skin folds, wrinkles, and key body landmarks, bringing models to life across a wide range of body types and ages. The CC5 character pack also includes HD eyes. Their resolution is noticeably higher, and more sliders are provided for adjustment, such as iris radius, iris color, and eyeshadow radius to control shading around the eyeball. We also provide new eyelashes, which can be applied individually as upper or lower elements for flexible combinations. The Digital Human Hair Shader offers extensive material customization for eyelash appearance. In addition to full set eyelash morphs, more fine tuned adjustments for individual parts are also available. After applying the new HD eyes, the eye occlusion and tear line can also be updated. First, delete the existing eye occlusion and tear line, then go to Modify and click Add Eye Element to reapply them. The system will automatically update based on the content version, and the new elements will display as HD. The updated eye occlusion provides more sliders, allowing you to adjust blur intensity so the eyes don't appear overly sharp. You can also enable blur range for clearer visual adjustment. The tear line can further adjust roughness to control reflection effects. Lastly, we also provide a new redness map. Once applied, it can be adjusted in skin gen by regions, adding microvascular effects on the skin surface to achieve a more realistic skin appearance for the character. Next, let's explain how to upgrade to an HD facial profile. The new HD profile improves mocap performance enhancing the realism of facial expressions. It also particularly strengthens mouth movements by adding non-linear sticky lip effects, making mouth animations more natural and fluid. First, in Edit Expression, click on CC4 Extended. The Convert Facial Profile window will appear. After selecting CC5 HD, you can choose whether to keep the original facial profile. Here, we choose not to save it. Once completed, the expression will switch to CC5 HD. This new profile provides additional expression, 
Morph sliders designed to enhance facial animation quality, especially around the mouth. It also introduces corrective sliders, which allow quick fixes to expressions for more natural and accurate results. In the previous profile, a pouting expression would leave the lips partially open. With corrective shapes, this issue is resolved, and the lips now close naturally. Similarly, the older profile often revealed too much gum when using open mouth shapes due to excessive strength. The new HD profile increases blend shapes from 160 to 390. With more sliders, we can achieve richer and more detailed facial animation. In addition, if the HD Face Control plugin is installed in Reillusion Hub, we can open the panel by clicking on HD Face Control in the plugin and adjust the size and position of the layout. With HD Face Control, we can quickly enhance or fine tune facial expressions for a more detailed and expressive result. By using the facial profile, subdivision, and other content together, we can upgrade a CC3 Plus character to a CC5 HD character. This not only enhances the character's appearance, but also significantly improves the accuracy and naturalness of facial animations, easily achieving film quality realistic expressions. Thanks for watching.